Hi, Jeff Cote here with Pacific Yacht Systems. I've got an excellent question here. I just removed a 14 gauge ground wire from my boat. It was spliced multiple times. When I peeled the insulation, and good on you for being curious, back it was charred, burning from the inside out. How did this happen? How would I know? Oh my God, I love this. Yeah, this is incredible because you're seeing that things sometimes are not obvious. When you overload a wire and we're running too much amperage through that cable, and that could be um, simply because, um, you know, maybe the appliance is larger than was the intended use for that wire. What you'll notice is that the, a lot of, I guess, situations where there's not a circuit breaker or the fuse is not properly rated, a wire will actually be doing more than it was intended to do. And when that happens, the amperage that is exceeding the rated amperage of that cable is actually going to cause the insulation to melt. You'll actually see this, and I've seen this, where the terminations, where the connections are happening, are actually, you'll see like actually like yellowing, tarnishing of the insulation, the jacket of the cable. And you're right, as you peel that insulation, you're actually seeing it's melted and charred underneath. So when that happens, that's an indication that the wire was actually running too much amperage for what it could handle. Now, here's another sort of curveball in this. Every time we insert a new termination, we butt splice a wire. If it's not done perfectly, it's gonna bring in resistance. That resistance is gonna actually make the rated amperage of the cable become lower, and it's gonna cause more resistance, and more resistance causes heat. So that's why in electric, electrical systems, perfection is everything, right? You were striving for that level of perfection. So if you've got a wire that is showing size of burning, or it looks like it's melting, that's the size of the wires running too much amperage, or that the butt connectors that are in that circuit are causing a voltage drop and causes a resistance on that wire. So look for it on our boats, and if you see it, you gotta replace it. So if 16 was happening with this, I'd probably replace it with a much larger gauge wire. Last point, bonus round. If, if I had given a choice and I could run a gauge 16 wire or 14 wire, I'm always gonna run 14. Given a choice between a 12 and a 10, always 10. Especially because the butt connectors or the ring connectors are sized for 10 and 12 or 14 and 16. If you're gonna buy a spool of wire or you're gonna buy wire, go from don't ever get 16, do 14. If you're gonna choose between 12 and 10, do 10. Go always bigger. More is better for wire sizes so that this situation doesn't happen again. But that was an excellent question. Thanks for watching this video. If you've got further questions that we didn't answer, please ask them below or go on our website and fill out one of the forms and we'll get a chance to do so. Support us to keep this channel ad free by donating via PayPal or buying one of these lovely hats. The links are below. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so, that way you'll get the regular content. And in closing, thanks for watching.